This is a seven pound Chick-fil-A pizza. And in this video, I'm gonna to try to take it down by myself. But first, we gotta rewind and make this pizza. All right, welcome to my kitchen. To make this pizza, we have pizza dough, fresh mozzarella cheese. And here I just decided to put the Chick-fil-A bag on the door, give you a little visual. Chick-fil-A ingredients and Pecorino Romano cheese and then a bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce. And that's how we're gonna make this pizza. We got our 16 inch deep dish pan, you can see there. And we put some olive oil on the bottom of it because I did not want the pizza to stick to the pan at all. That is not a good thing. So I put plenty of olive oil in there and now it is time to break out the dough. I got the flour ready. I didn't want the dough to stick to anything. And then I started off with only two dough balls, worked it, I thought it might be enough. And then I was like, you know what? Nah, let's do all three because why not? I worked all three to make one big dough ball. And then from there broke out the rolling pin. And then it's time to really work the dough to try to stretch it out to fit the pan. At first, it really didn't go so well. It came out as more of a log shape, as you can see here. And I was almost threw up my hands like, what is going on? I don't know what to do. Like, it just didn't really want to stretch out. I kept working it and working it. And I actually just started fisting it, literally, which actually helped. It started to push apart the dough. And I really started to see more of a circular shape. Then I just broke out the rolling pin, pushed it out a little more. I took the pan out to gauge how big it would be. I worked the dough a little bit one final time and called it done. More grease for the pan and then carefully move the dough into the pan. I didn't want the dough to break apart. It almost did. You can see there's some thin spots in the center there. And because I'm not a master pizza maker, the dough wasn't a circle. So I had extra on the sides. I used some of that to patch the center. A little late, I know, but I decided to put my apron on for the remainder. Now, with this being a deep dish pizza, the cheese goes down first. Fresh mozzarella cheese, and then we have the toppings, Chick-fil-A nuggets and Chick-fil-A waffle fries, and then a 16 ounce unopened jar or bottle, if you will, of Chick-fil-A sauce. And we use the whole bottle, none left behind. I still had some mozzarella cheese left over, so I figured, why don't we just roll it into the crust and have a deep dish stuffed crust. Pop that baby in the oven for about 30 minutes. Then I put some Pecorino Romano cheese on the top, put it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. You end up with a beautiful deep dish Chick-fil-A pizza. And the total stats for this beautiful Chick-fil-A pizza, I'm gonna put that right there for you guys. I am super happy with how this turned out. I was a little nervous the dough wouldn't be cooked enough. And I was also nervous about rolling the dough out. I thought it might break apart. There was some patchiness in there, but worked out perfectly. Nothing leaked out of the bottom. Beautiful deep dish pizza. To drink, I have warm water. Before we get started, why don't we cut this up? All right. It's all cut up. We got, how many slides? One, two, three. This smells delicious. I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to do this. With that being said, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the seven pound Chick-fil-A pizza challenge. I'm hungry, I'm happy. Let's eat. Timer started, 45 minutes. Oh, I'm so excited. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. I overcooked the dough a little bit, but better overcooked than undercooked. Want to be safe. Oh, that is 
Absolutely phenomenal though. Wow, really, really good. Let's keep it going. There was a lot more dough on the sides than on the bottom and the dough didn't cook evenly as a result. To make sure all the dough was properly cooked, the bottom was a little bit overcooked. It wasn't burnt, but it was a little bit more chewy and harder to eat, but it still tasted great. Other than that, the pizza came out perfect. I was so pleased with how this turned out. I was quite nervous going in. I expect the worst oftentimes. I'm a pessimist like that, but it turned out great. I can see why the Chick-fil-A pizza was a bit of a trend on YouTube. It is very good. So good in fact, Chick-fil-A has caught on and is now testing Chick-fil-A pizzas in their own stores. Crazy, I know. They're gonna be putting pickles on their pizza. I'll skip that part. Wow, I am so pleased with how this turned out. This is so, so good. The dough is a little undercooked on the bottom, like I mentioned, but other than that, it's exactly how I would, how I would want it. Really, really good. If you're a fan of Chick-fil-A pizza, of Chick-fil-A pizza, ugh. If you're a fan of Chick-fil-A sauce, or pizza, or both, give this a try. Get some Chick-fil-A sauce, get some Chick-fil-A toppings, and make yourself a Chick-fil-A pizza. Don't make it this big. Make it a lot smaller, but give it a try. You will not be disappointed. The flavor of the Chick-fil-A sauce really overpowered all the other foods by a little bit too much. If I had used three quarters or maybe even half the bottle, I think the flavors on the pizza would have been even better. That's my takeaway. Use the Chick-fil-A sauce sparingly a little bit of sauce has a lot of flavor. You don't have to make deep dish pizza either, of course. You can make thin crust pizza, New York style, whatever you like. Of course, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know deep dish pizza is my favorite kind of pizza. All right, four slices down. We're halfway there. 11 and a half minutes, excellent time. As you can tell though, this is very, very messy. Good thing I have plenty of paper towels. Ah, five slices down, and I am going to officially give this two thumbs up. So, so good. Like I said twice before, if I didn't overcook the crust, probably would have been perfect. The sauce is very rich, so I'm hoping the flavor doesn't get to me. So let's keep it moving. Well, if you had rolled out the dough to be the same thickness all around, it would have cooked evenly now, wouldn't it have? Huh? Huh? Maybe one day I'll go to pizza school and learn how to properly make a pizza. Although, there might be a chance I would want to eat all the pizza, so maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. I don't know, maybe one day I'll go to pizza school. It might be cool to learn how they toss the dough up in the air like that. <sighs> All right, six slices down. Let me wet wipe it up real quick. It's still absolutely delicious, but it's starting to get caught in my chest a little bit. So I'm needing more liquid. So for these last two slices, we may revert to the dipping the crust in water. What's wrong with you? I'll be humane about it though. 
Speaking of water, we get a few more napkins as well. Time, 19 minutes, that's good time. Let's do the bigger of the two first. Okay, here we go. Comment below other things I can make with this 16 inch pan. It could even be something sweet, like a giant pie or something. I'm excited for the possibilities. Nothing to see here. <laughs> it really does help. Okay, 23 minutes. Excellent timing. <sighs> I got one slice left. I feel all right. I haven't really hit the wall yet, but I'm definitely not hungry anymore. Last slice, here we go. Whew. Oh, food really got caught in there. We're good though. Okay, this is what we got left. Keep it going. We've got only a small section left, making excellent time. I can be fast when I want to, but I really enjoyed this one. I hope you did too, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, the flavor has officially gotten to me. Oh, oh man, I am chick full out. Ugh. Luckily, we just got this little bit left. Let's finish this. Whew. Ah, time. 29 minutes and 34 seconds. Boom, challenge defeated. So, so you can see there's nothing in the cup. What do you think, we got room for dessert? This is the Blue Bunny Soft Salted Caramel Ice Cream. I'm not intending to eat the whole thing, I'm just gonna have some of it. It's supposed to be soft right out of the freezer. Yep, very soft, nice. Ooh, but very cold. <laughs>